question number 9 says we need to find the zeros and verify the relation. So y square plus 3 over 2 under root 5y minus 5 equals 0. So first is we, what we need to do is we need to equate this polynomial equal to 0. So y square plus 3 over 2 under root 5y minus 5 equals 0. Now what we need to do is we need to take LCM on the left hand side. So it will be 2 here and we need to multiply the first term with 2. So it will be 2y square plus 3 under root 5y minus 10 equals 0. Now what we need to do is we need to bring 2 to the right hand side. So we are left with 2y square plus 3 under root 5y minus 10 equals 0. So this is my equation number 1. Now what we need to do is we need to split the middle term and we have 10 and we have 2. So 10 into 2 is 20. Now what we need to do is we need to split the middle term here. So 20 can be written as 4 into 5. And now as told earlier we have under root 5. So therefore we need to split 5 as under root 5 and under root 5. So you can easily now make factors. It will be 4 under root 5 minus under root 5. So it will be 3 under root 5. So 2y square plus 4 under root 5 y minus under root 5 y minus 10 equals 0. Now we need to take common from the first two terms. So it will be 2y and we are left with 2. Sorry, not 2. It will be y minus 2 under root 5 and in the next one we are left with minus under root 5 can be taken out and we are left with y now 10 10 can be written as 5 sorry under root 5 under root 5 into 2 so 5 has been taken out under root 5 has been taken out and we are left with 2 under root 5 equals 0 now we have two values here. One is y plus 2 under root 5 equals 0. Another is 2y minus under root 5 equals 0. Now the first one y is equal to minus 2 under root 5. And another is y equal under root 5 over 2. So we have two values that is alpha and beta. Now what we need to do is we need to verify the answer. So for verification what we need to do we need to take sum of the two, two roots that is minus 2 under root 5 plus under root 5 over 2. Now what we get from alpha plus beta is we need to take LCM here again. So it will be 2 into 2 that will be minus 4 under root 5 plus under root 5. So it will be minus 3 under root 5 over 2. So alpha plus beta is minus b over a. So b in this case is 3 over 2 under root 5 and a is 1. So it is very much equivalent to what we get from alpha plus beta. So hence verified for alpha plus beta. Now next is alpha dot beta. So minus 2 under root 5 into under root 5 over 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. We are left with minus 5. Now we have alpha plus beta as c over a. So c in this case is minus 5 and a in this case is 1. So minus 5 over 1 which is equivalent to the above answer. So therefore the quotient is verified here. So that's your answer for question number 9. Thank you for watching this video.